people can apply for something, they can get beautiful flowers for their event, and we get a chance to give back something to the community too. We do get an awful lot of calls on a daily basis with, with various needs, and, and there are a lot of nonprofits that need things, but we just kind of have to prioritize it and give to the people who, who we think really need it and can use it. Susan Ramsey is a designer at Julius Florist. She said making arrangements for nonprofits is fulfilling, but it's difficult to donate to every organization that requests free flowers. That's why owner Dana Cook has grown the flower grant. I know what it's like, especially during these tough times, to come up with budgets um, that will allow to have fundraisers, um, because right now you want every penny of your nonprofit to go to the nonprofit itself and to go to the cause, and not to go to the decorations for the party. Cook said her business is blooming with folks who want flowers for a cause. She believes the grant will help organize the requests and her budget for nonprofits, and says it will also help Julia's give back to the worthy causes in our community. Although some may not realize the impact of impatience or lovely lilies, Ramsey said flowers bring the fragrance of joy to an event. When you just walk in the door, people just react to the color. Um, it creates a kind of a, a, a happiness in the occasion, even though if you're doing breast cancer awareness, that's a serious event. But um, people enjoy going there. They want to give to the community, and then the flowers, the arrangements, the things they see, just contribute to that occasion and make them feel good about what they're doing and enjoy what they're doing. Julia's Florist is adding hope by giving the gift of beauty to local nonprofit organizations. In Wilmington, Asha DeVay, WWAY News Channel 3.